With plans to reopen businesses, there is a greater urgency to get more people vaccinated since the hunt for an appointment has been tough, to say the least. Many are turning to wait lists. APRC 2's Catherine Nett is joining us now. Uh, she's got details on the vaccination efforts in the area. Good morning. Good morning to you. Starting today, the University of Houston will begin vaccinating people here on campus. Appointments are full, but they are willing to take more people if more doses are available. They do have 1,000 Moderna doses available. The school says they prioritize registration for its 1A population who see patients in clinical settings. That includes students and faculty in the colleges of medicine, optometry, nursing, and pharmacy. All appointments are are full, but 1B waitlist will be used for extra doses or canceled appointments. This comes as vaccine supply is increasing statewide. The vaccine supply is increasing so rapidly, Texas will soon expand the categories of people who are able to get them. And some medical professionals say that within a few months, every Texan who wants a vaccine shot will be able to get a vaccine shot. This week, nearly a quarter million first doses are available in our nine county region. Many are available to the general public, largely through online wait lists. With supply increasing, the Houston Health Department, among other hubs, have expanded wait lists to include anyone over 16 with a medical condition that puts them at greater risk and anyone over 65 conditions or not. Nationwide, more positive news to ramp up production. President Biden now says the federal government expects to have enough COVID-19 vaccine doses for all American adults by the end of May. We're announcing a major step forward to the largest healthcare and pharmaceutical companies in the world that are usually competitors are working together on the vaccine. Johnson and Johnson and Merck will work together to expand the production of Johnson and Johnson's vaccine. We're now on track to have enough vaccine supply for every adult in America by the end of May. And that is definitely welcome news as many people in our area and statewide are still trying to find a vaccination. Reporting live at the U of H campus, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC 2 News. Okay, Kathy, thank you. As Governor